So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I am uh, trying the roundabout way here to get some nice quarter sawn lumber out of this white oak here. So this evening I'm back down here at the sawmill and this is kind of a continuation of what I was doing last night. Uh, if you saw the last video, I backfilled that big borrow pit behind the camera, moved some firewood poles out of the way, got rid of some slabs, just kind of cleaning up and getting a little bit organized. And this evening I just stacked and stickered some of that red pine lumber and now I'm finishing up a nice white oak on the sawmill. If you saw that video the other day, I put a real nice log on the mill. It was the second log out of a beautiful white oak tree. I think it was about 30 inches in diameter and actually sold some of it already. I delivered it the other day to a local guy, a buddy of mine actually, uh, but he bought four, they were 16 and a half inches wide, eight quarter white oak boards, eight footers, they're beautiful. And by the way, a lot of times people ask what I mean when I say four quarter or eight quarter. Uh, rough cut lumber is sold by the board foot. A board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch thick. That's a board foot. Uh, thickness is measured in quarters. So four quarters, you know, four quarters is one inch, eight quarters is two inch, 12 quarter, three inch, you know, six quarter, inch and a half. Why it's done like that, I have no idea, but that's what that means. When I say eight quarter, I mean I'm sawing it at two inches thick. Now this log that I'm finishing up on the mill, like I said, it was a really good log. It was the second one on the tree. You know, you got your butt log and it's even better. This one was pretty decent. It was actually really nice, and I'm trying to get some quarter sawn lumber out of it in a roundabout way. If you're not familiar with what quarter sawn lumber is, I'll show you here real quick as best as I can explain it. For this explanation, we will need to uh, cut off a cookie here off one of these red pine logs. <laughs> So to quarter saw, you basically, you're quartering the log. You know, you cut it in half, you cut it in half again this way, and then you'll start cutting boards like this. A little hard going that way. That's quarter sawn, right there. So the face of your board, you know, right here, is perpendicular to your growth rings, right here. That's quarter sawn. So another way to get some nice quarter sawn lumber out of a log, the way I do it, is you just kind of plain saw across the log, okay? And then when you're getting down in here to the center, you know, you want to cut your center out, but right here, you're going to have quarter sawn boards, like here, here, and here. And that's what I'm working on right now on that big one. So doing it this way is way easier. I mean, you're not going to get as much quarter sawn lumber out of it, but for me, this is kind of the way I like to do it right here. Now I flip this back over so we can draw on it some more. 
Like I said, this is red pine right here, but for this explanation, we're gonna pretend it's white oak. Now, all woods have these rays that'll come out from the center of the tree. And all they are are cells. Most trees, those rays aren't very thick, only a couple cells wide. But on white oak, the rays are a lot thicker. And when you quarter saw that wood, you get some really unique and really interesting figure. You'll see here in just a minute. Now quarter sawing a big log like I had on that mill there takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do it, especially with a manual mill like I have. Now with this log, I kind of had to go about things in a roundabout way because I wanted some of that big wide eight quarter stuff. And what I ended up doing, as you saw in the beginning of this video, I cut these two pieces off. I had the center on the mill and I did get, you know, like four or five one by fours out of that. And then one four by four that I'll just use for cribbing. Now we're going to get a few quarter sawn boards, probably two or three out of that and two or three out of that one there. We'll see. Now there's some uh, saw marks on here as well, and it's kind of hard to see, and these growth rings are just incredibly tight on this white oak right here. They're not quite 90 degrees to the face, but they're pretty close. Now I'm gonna flip these two boards over, we'll clean them off, pour a little bit of water on them, and uh, they should look really nice. I'm kind of, uh, kind of excited. Oh yeah. Why do you see this? And the third one looks good too, and the fourth one looks good. Oh yeah, we'll clean these up. Now these ones here, they do have a few of the dark streaks going through it. I don't think that one will, but these are a little over six inches wide. Nice stuff. Here's a little better look at it. You're not getting as much glare, but that is beautiful. This is my, uh, this is my first attempt at quarter sawing. Really nice stuff. I got, uh, what did I get? Five more that are about eight and a half inches wide. They don't have as many rays as the smaller ones, but they're still really nice. I won't get to it for a little while, but that uh, butt log over there, that's a 10 footer, actually 10 feet, six inches. I won't be sawing that for a little while, but I think that's going to be better. Yeah, I know it'll be even better than this. All right, I got my uh, stack of lumber covered here. Everything's staying nice and flat. But once you get up towards the top, you know, there's no weight on it. So these boards here can kind of cup or warp a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some weight on this.
But anyway, that should help keep those boards nice and flat. And I think it's about time to wrap this video up. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.